All right, there you go. Bucky danced to it there. That's right. All right, hello, everybody. It's your good friend, Possible here, and I'm here with Bucky. Hello. And you know what? We're actually going to be reviewing a movie that only you've seen so far, and probably from your review, I'm not going to see it, uh, Grown Ups 2, with Adam Sandler, Kevin James, Chris Rock, David Spade, and a slew of other people. A slew? A lot. Okay. Uh, just like a whole group of people here. I mean, they all have kids now. They all have wives. And they even have rivals now. Is any of this correct? A uh, few rivals. few rivals? But they've all had kids in the first movie. Right, right. And as you can tell, guys, I probably haven't seen the movie. Bucky's going to be our reviewer for Grown Ups 2. So tell me, Bucky, first off, what is this movie about in general? Basically, it just follows a few years, um, a few years after the first movie. They're now living in a less suburban area. There's like um, wildlife near where they're living. It's like going like Missoula, Montana type of thing. Um, they're more successful in their businesses, so they're moving up in the world and they're getting away from the city and everything, I take it. Not really successful in business. In fact, some of them are not really doing very well. But the thing is, is the main focus of this sequel is about bullying because it turns out that um, Adam Sandler's character, like while in high school or something, was bullied by uh, this one guy. I can't remember his name, but played by um, that guy. Uh, yeah, I can't remember his name right now. <laughs> You'll see it when you see the movie. If you see the movie, which um, oh oh yeah. uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh oh, there you go. And so, um, and uh, Adam Sandler's son in the movie, he's being bullied by someone in school, and he's fearful of this kid. And Adam Sandler's all here, oh, just stand up to him, you know, always confront your bully type of thing. And, Easier to give the advice than it is to take it, I, I assume. And, yeah, pretty much there, there's like a few points in the movie where Adam Sandler comes across Steve Austin, and, you know, he's fearful, almost wetting his pants, in, almost mm -hmm. wetting his pants. But you, he's scared to confront this person. Um, now, it, being that he's now grown up, did Stone Cold Steve Austin characters change at all, or is he still the bully? Um, he was he was the bully t towards the end, but uh, Adam Sandler did tell Steve Austin about his son and the situation, and and. Uh, uh, Steve Austin just basically cowered, saying, "Oh, you, oh, you got to look tough, you know. I'll, I'll, I'll back down, type of thing." Mm -hmm. Spoiler alert, by the way, but yeah, no, nothing much to spoil. Not much of a spoiler. I mean, it's one of those things where you expect. Now, one of the problems that I did hear from you when we talked earlier about this movie was that this movie had a lot of trouble connecting the dots. Like it threw a lot at us, but it never finished. That's like it never finished the thought. Well, there were a lot of storylines where. As far from a storytelling standpoint, you're supposed to have like an act three. And mm -hmm. a lot of the third act of this movie just was written in such a hurry that you're wondering why that they're doing these things that they're doing at the end of the movie. And they didn't even explain some of the actions. Right. And things just happened. And uh, they, 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 it's like they went from point A to point B. No, excuse me, point A to point C without even explaining point B. Exactly. And on some of the movie posters for this, it shows the four guys at like a water or a mm -hmm. or not a water water park. They're like driving some sort of go karts. Go karts, and yet they don't even race go karts in the movie. So why have that on the poster? It must have been like something they cut out or something like that. Um, it sounds like this movie suffered a lot from editing more than anything else. Uh, you know, we one thing we talked about was Adam Sandler. His career has not really had a great movie in a while. Um, you know, Jack and Jill and That's My Boy and stuff like that. But uh, and you, your your favorite, um, you went as far back as a. Uh, I now I, pronounce, pronounce you Chuck and Larry. Yeah, I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry, which is two thousand and seven. So, it's been a while since he ha had a real hit that we could appreciate. Um, for me, it's just bedtime stories, which is a year later. Hopefully, 2014 will be nicer to him. Uh, in the end, if you really want to see Bucky's full review of this, it's on Unleash the Robots slash uh, Grown Ups 2. UnleashTheRobots.com. Ah, yes. Thank you. And uh, and you'll see it there. And uh, what was your final grade on this one? If I remember correctly, I gave it a D plus, and that was being very, very nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because, I mean, like a train wreck, I still had had to see it. You know. Well, you saw the first one. It's like, yeah, exactly. Nothing. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't so bad where I had to get up and leave during the movie, but 
it, it, the movie could have been a lot better. They could have explained a lot more. But you only walked out of one movie. A few. I've walked out of three total, but okay. that's a different story. Yeah, what was the last one again? Uh, wasn't it uh, a certain no- number? Oh, 10,000 BC. Yeah, you that's, really missed out on it, Bucky. You really missed no, out. No, 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 no. That, that was a horrible movie. I fast-forwarded through it. It gets worse. You you only gave it, like, what, 10 minutes, 15 minutes? I made it up until The Woolly Mammoth, which I think was uh, 20 to 30 minutes into the movie. Oh, and it gets worse after that. Let me tell you. you, you I mean, if you thought you saw a stupid bad movie, you haven't seen anything yet. Yeah, they're in the way past, but they got perfect makeup. and uh, They, they speak per- perfect they speak, English. Well, you got to give them the English. English because technically it's their but language. But then again, I think that's was my nail in the coffin for director Roland Emmerich. I mm-hmm. it'll be your, a long time before I see a movie of his again. No White House Down for you. No. <laughs> All right, game. Well, that's it for his review. Thank you, Bucky. Thank you for coming by, and we'll see you guys at the theaters.